Goro was born in Bermuda, living with his mother Lynette, his grandmother, and two aunts. At age of 17, he left home for further education in the USA, where he had a soccer scholarship. While still home in Bermuda for Thanksgiving, Goro was spotted by scouts from Manchester United, who invited him to England for a trip. Sean Goder lived on Court Street, right next to the spinning wheel. He went to Victor Scott Primary and Whitney Institute for Secondary School. His first club was the North Village Rams. His early football heroes were Andrew Bascom, Ralph Gumbo Bean, Willie Baxter, Joe Trott, and Parks and Punchy Dill, all North Village stars. Sean's first English team was Manchester United. He signed a professional contract but didn't make the first team. Then, switched to Rotherham United, he then was loaned to Notts County. After that, he signed a contract with Bristol City, and then he went to Manchester City, and that was the part of his career that got him off the ground. Sir Alex Ferguson came to Sean personally and told him that he didn't have a chance at Manchester United. There was a third division team called Rotherham who could give him a chance at first team football. In the 91-92 season, they were relegated down into Division 4, but the next year, they were back in Division 3. Sean spent four years at Rotherham before he got the offer from Bristol City. By the end of his time at Rotherham, he scored almost 50 goals. Sean joined the team at Bristol in 1996, following his marriage to wife Anita on May 17th. He really enjoyed his time at Bristol, and he said that he learned a lot about teamwork from the team and manager, John Ward. Sean was not expecting the offer from Man City in March 1997. He was sold for £400,000. The team was relegated at the end of the season. But above the next, Sean really came into his own. He became a fan favorite and the team's top scorer, even when Kevin Keegan, the manager, tried to sell Sean. He continued to perform and scored a, and scored a record 30 goals, including his 100th goal for the club, and a record-setting 9-second goal in another game. Oh, he's produced the goal apiece. Has caught out, certainly not the end of the chances. Can he score? He does. Gary Neville puts his hands to his head and wonders what he's done. Peter Schmeichel celebrates, but Sean Gota, who didn't have a career at Old Trafford like Schmeichel's, but started in English football there, the Bermuda striker, has scored against Manchester United. It's his 99th goal for Manchester City. It's almost offside when you look at it as it's played in, but 10 out of 10 for not giving it up. But what Gary Neville's thinking of, I just don't know. 11 out of 10 for the finish. It's a fabulous finish from Sean Gota. Gary Neville could and should have dealt with it a lot quicker. But when Gota gets in here, he's single-minded. He's looking for nothing else than the back of the net. And really against the run of play, City have the lead again.
straight away. He'll take the free kick and pulls it back cleverly for Wright Phillips. That's a good ball too. Oh yes! Isn't it unbelievable? <laughs> well, both the substitutes combine and Manchester City are off the hook. Incredible. Well, Kevin Keegan will tell you that it was an inspired substitution, but Sean Gold, the first touch, absolutely incredible, but it's bright play, isn't it, from Manchester City. It's a very clever little ball inside, and it's a wonderful effort by Sean Wrightfield. Just stands it up to the far post, and they're actually queuing up there. It was either Anelka, it was either Goat, and it's the Goat that plants ahead header firmly past Roy Carroll. Then Keegan said he still has a part to play. That's what he meant. This team helps to develop the overall state of play in Bermuda by exposing Bermudian footballers to more international competition.
In 2003, he was awarded an MBE from the Queen for his services in sports and young people in Bermuda. He was awarded the Freedom of Bermuda in 2000. This was also celebrated by National Sean Goder Day.